I'm Pearl Bryan from Woodland, Alabama, and I have two subjects to talk about today. Um, my case from 2000 to 2011 is very bad, but what is worse is being children taken in the courts from a good parent to a bad parent. I lost my son in 1994-95, and I died a many death to his daddy. I was a good woman thrown in the streets. I put up with a drunk, his dad, 15 years drunk every night, jealous, possessive, and made a prisoner out of me. I paid about 18 attorneys fighting for my son, some $100 consultation fees, and um, a good woman has to put up with uh, sexual passes from attorneys, and I did, I had one. He was a former judge, and uh, he has to answer for that. He, want, he wanted the son because he knew he could stay in the house. He brought a bad woman in after I was in the streets, and he had a girl, which another man claimed was his baby. He started a restaurant near Tampa, Florida, which our son worked 20 years for his dad. $20 a day, a lot of bad women in and out. His father started selling drugs which I suspected but never was sure of until he died, and having lots of bad women. I had my son in private school in Temple Terrace, Florida, and he took him out after I was thrown out and uh, put him in uh, public, where he was exposed to a doctor's son on drugs. Uh, my former, uh, his dad started selling drugs and the bad women, and, he, and the so-called daughter that he, uh, he left her around $2 million, and our son, an old house that he stole until he died that John's grandmother had left him. Our son is 50 years old, never married, and works hard as an iron worker and a welder. The court system destroys children's lives with attorneys and judges and DCF, which in Florida they call it Department of Children and Family Service, in Florida and around the United States. My son is a miracle to be alive. He knows friends and customers who are at the restaurant. A lot of them have died from overdose of drugs. Uh, his dad offered me marijuana, and I said, no, I'm afraid I might like it. Never tried drugs. I was a decent woman and put up with a man, so I decided to divorce him. Uh, the no-fault divorce law, which should be changed, uh, that's my case from 2000-2011. I decided to leave my husband after his sister told me, don't put up with his screaming, and he screamed to high heaven over money every month. So he, uh, I told him if he lied, if he screamed over money the next month, I was going to call the sheriff. He screamed, and I threw uh, pills around the floor and cereal around the 10-foot ceiling in Polk City, Florida. On the, his re sheriff report, he told seven lies, and I would scratch him because I didn't like to be lied on. And off to jail I go for two nights without bail. I had two speeding tickets in my life before that, and I was around 70 year, uh, 60 years old. It stays on your record for life. Even though mine was terminated and dismissed, I had to give Tallahassee, Florida another $75 to expunge my name, which I never have done. Now I'm 71 and only one year out of being out of court for 11 years. I beat three judges' orders, sell the house. They scream at you, they torment you, and they take all your money. I had, like I say, I had eight attorneys and ten judges to no avail. Attorney Kaya got me out of jail, $1,500, and he taught me up a divorce against my wishes because I thought God would heal my marriage. He'd tell me every time he saw me, go sign that divorce, and I'd go down there and cry. And I asked him about for my $1,500 back because I never got the divorce. And I have a paper which I brought with me where Attorney Kaya in Bartow, Florida said, I am obviously deranged. He didn't type me up a divorce, but I have the paperwork to prove it. My former husband, Ronald F. Lilly, 
that his son was married to the um, discount auto heir, now it's advanced discount, had connections with the judges and attorneys. I was just, they thought a dumb blonde, cotton picker. They didn't know I was a bottle blonde. Okay, he took 400000 and I proved it in federal court in Tampa, Florida with exhibits. I didn't have an attorney because I had attorneyed all my money out. And he, he married five days after my, our divorce to a preacher woman that cleaned her preacher husband out, the two of a kind. Okay, uh, they defaulted. You let me default? Do you think I would come out? Okay. Uh, the judge did not care that they had defaulted. I even hired a disbarred attorney to help me. Bless his heart. He charged me like an attorney. <laughs> I spent a lot of money. My former husband, Mr. Ronald F. Lilly, forged a $30,000, $37,000 check, a $34,500. Uh, he tampered with my mail, which is federal. He said my mail went back to Wyoming, our sister-in-law, Dennis, on and on. The judge ordered that I pay half of that 34 back, but I never did. My, the mail tampering, he forged a Social Security check. I was in contempt of court because Mr. Lilly, I have a paper here stating Mr. Lilly doesn't have any money. And uh, I had wit body, body attachment that I hid out a week at my sister's house. And every noise I heard was a policeman after me. The torment and the torture, it kills you. Many of my friends are dead today because of this. They've had uh, retired dentists in Florida. Uh, Ron Mickens, gone out of his house, lost his principal job. He's still fighting 16 years later. Ron Shelton, fighting for his daughter that he had her from a baby up to six years old. And they gave it to a no good mama. He spent over 500,000. He told me not to tell that, but I did. And I haven't heard from him since August. I don't know if he's living alive because he had stents in his heart and kidney analysis. But anyway, I had to pay Mr. Nick Toyana, Mr. Lilly's attorney, $5,000 to go to jail, which I didn't have. So I hid out in a wit body attachment and I hid out for a week. And um, so it was time for the divorce, and they were arguing over pots and pans instead of the, all the money that he had taken from me. My sister was with me, and we acted up at lunchtime. We, she told my attorney, why in the H don't you talk about the money my brother-in-law took from my sister instead of the pots and pans and the greenery? My attorney, the fourth one that got my divorce, he was so much for me. They forgot the greenery, and he says, how about the greenery? I tell you, the corruption, they tortured me. It's a wonder I got brains to even know who I am. Um, so anyway, I didn't pay the 16000 back. He mail tampered, and I was in contempt of court with a body attachment. I had to pay his attorney 5000 to go to jail, which I didn't have the money. But before I went to court, I had $5,000 strapped around me. And after we acted up at court, my sister and I, at lunch, we were afraid they were going to arrest me, so I gave her the uh, 5000 And she had held her kidneys because my attorney lied and said he was going to use her. So at five, a quarter to five, Judge Honor, the second judge I had, never a courtroom, always judge's chambers, he, y'all got 15 minutes, a quarter to five. So at 5.18, I pass out, and I went under the table. And my attorney opened uh, Mark, um, no, James Schaefer in Tampa, my fourth one. He opened the door and let her in, and she thought, she said that was the first time she ever realized she loved me, and she thought I was dead. And she spilled her water all over the place because she was holding her stomach. He lied to her. So they hauled me off to the hospital, and they wanted our paperwork. She asked the ambulance, can you... Let me get back down there to my paperwork. The judge, no, the bailiffs had told her he was going to arrest her. And so I got divorced in the hospital with my attorney in Tampa, James Schaefer, not defending me, not saying a word. And uh, so at, uh, at the hospital, I was uh, blood pressure high enough for a stroke. Thank God I haven't. 
And I've got a sister in Florida that has fought in Levy County. Uh, she's gotten zero, Levy County, Williston, Florida. She's in a wheelchair, zero, and had a lot of valuable property. And my friend, Ron Mickens, I'm gonna see if he'll tell his story. He's 16 years fighting, lost his home, lost his job. The, uh, the attorneys and job judges, they make deals. They think everybody's dumb. There's very few that fight. We have to stand up for what's right and godly and uh, keep fighting. I beat three judges' orders. I had one attorney three times. I had people lie on me, and I was able to find the five people, two attorneys, a postal woman, and other people that had lied on me. The Lord allowed me to see that they had died. So I don't think it pays to lie on me. Um, what I would like to do is I would like Bartow Courthouse in Bartow, Florida, Imperial Polk County to be investigated like the feds did in Miami, Florida years ago. And the courthouse is across the United States of America. The corruption is you just it's unbearable. It's unbelievable to stop the lawyers and judges because we do not have justice even with 100% proof and the truth and the truth will set you free and that's the day I'm waiting for. Um, that's about it.